Did you know you can measure surfaces and solids directly? Here's how it works. Let's first take a look at where you find the feature to measure geometry. The first place we're going to look at is your right mouse button. So you'll right mouse, go down to measure, and you have measure a single entity or measure two entities. Another place you'll find the measure feature is on one of your toolbars. In this case, I have it on my miscellaneous toolbar, and you'll see there is measure entity single or measure two entities. Now you can also find measure under utilities, measure, entity, or two entities. Now probably most importantly is where the measurement is displayed. And there is a toolbar for this. This is the measure entity toolbar. And as you measure geometry, its values will be displayed in this window or flags will show up on your screen. Okay, so now we know where the measure function is and where our results will be shown. Let's take a look at measuring some of the features on this model. Now, all I have is a solid model. And when you use measure entity one, you can pick over any edge of the model and all the information about that edge will be displayed in the measure entity window. So we can pick up radiuses, we can pick up lines, whether, whether horizontal or vertical or on an angle. Now, if we switch over to measure two, this allows us to measure two entities. Now you can use snap points by holding down shift and left clicking on your geometry. So I'll grab a snap point here, shift, left click on a piece of uh, geometry and grab our snap point there. And here you can see we have all our different values. These are the flags that I was talking about. So we have our X, we have our distance, our Z and our Y. To learn about tips and tricks using Bobcat, call us today or subscribe to our channel for next week's tip. See you then.